I'm here at SALT 2019 with Peter Diamandis, the mastermind behind XPRIZE Foundation and Singularity University. So tell us, why did you bring XPRIZE and Singularity into life? Uh, I believe we're heading towards a world where rather than complaining of the problems out there, we can fix them. We're more empowered as individuals than ever before by more capital flowing, more access to knowledge information, more computational power, more tools from technology. And XPRIZE and Singularity University are sides, uh, two sides of the same coin. The XPRIZE sort of sets very clear uh, you know, aspirational objective goals. The first person to build a spaceship, the first person to uh, build software that can teach a child to read, write, and do math, the first technology that can map the ocean floor. And we challenge teams around the world to say, I don't care where you went to school, what you've ever done before, if you solve and demonstrate the solution, you win the capital. Singularity University is, I co-founded with Ray Kurzweil, uh, to help teach uh, entrepreneurs and executives about how all the exponentially growing technologies, computation, sensors, networks, AI, robotics, 3D printing, synthetic biology, AR, VR, blockchain, how these technologies are transforming every industry and how powerful we are. I don't think any of us truly recognize the power we have as individuals to solve the world's biggest problems. That's really interesting. So Fortune Magazine recently named you one of the world's 50, 50 great leaders. What's, really I'm sure, what's, what's the key to being a great leader? I think it's giving people a clear vision of what's possible and inspiring and guiding to get them there. Um, I, I think of my role in life as inspiring individuals to help them say, listen, this is possible. We can open up the space frontier. We can extend the healthy lifespan. And then guiding them as to what the tools and technologies available to do that. I think once people have a vision of the future, uh, they are able to put the pieces together to get there. And that's more true than any time ever in human history. You've started some 20 companies, I think. What makes you see an opportunity? What makes you say, this is, this is the thing to do today? Yeah, so I think every company I've started has been a result of my personal passion. I, when I'm mentoring entrepreneurs, I have a, a, a group called Abundance Digital of a few thousand entrepreneurs that I, mentor, uh, that I mentor through digital means, through our apps and so forth. And I'm clear with them, listen, don't do anything just for the money. You need to be doing something because it's your passion and your joy. It's got to be driven by emotional energy. Either you're super pissed off that this situation exists and you want to solve it, or you're inspired and awed and amazed that this is possible and you want to go and make it happen. So if you can connect with that, what I call that massively transformative purpose, that's what drives you. And for me, each one of these has been seeing something that I was excited about loved or needed to solve and I went and did it. Entrepreneurship is my art form for you know solving things. Uh, so I, I think I, I'm a science fiction fan. It was Star Trek that got me going as a kid. It was the works of Heinlein and Asimov and Clark that inspired me. And when I read a book, and when anybody's read a book, you're having a conversation with the author and a lot of the great science fiction painted a picture of the future that was reasonably feasible. And when you see something, you say, well, yeah, I believe that could happen. And, and if it doesn't exist, you start asking yourself the question of how can we get there? And that's sort of the, uh, the juice that drives an entrepreneur. So you know, one of my favorite books by Robert Heinlein is The Man Who Sold the Moon. And it talks about an entrepreneur who really creates the the entrepreneurial ecosystem to get humanity to the moon. And that's driven a lot of my efforts, a lot of my ventures. I was reading The Spirit of St. Louis by Charles Lindbergh and read that he crossed the Atlantic in 1927 to win a $25,000 prize. And that inspired me to want to create the X Prize for space flight. So a lot of what I've done, a lot of the companies I've started can draw themselves back to my reading a book or imagining something in a science fiction novel coming to life. Thank you so much for being here with us. So interesting words for a finance conference, don't do it for the money.